We knew that our partnership with Squarespace would be successful since their core values align with our very own. The one that means the most to us is that good work takes time. Ever since we shot our first video in the mountains of Peru, we've had to teach ourselves how to film, edit, conduct interviews, create storylines, color correct, audio level, and turn our creative passion into a viable small business. It's been a wild journey learning to tell interesting stories, to cook beautiful meals, and to photograph the world around us, both on 35 millimeter film and digitally. Along the way, our partnership with Squarespace has allowed us to continue to develop and perfect our craft always with the understanding that in order to create something beautiful, whether it's a video or a photograph or a blog post or a website, you have to put in the time and energy that good work requires. So when Squarespace approached us to be part of this series, we knew we wanted to try and tackle a new skill we'd never been able to master, astrophotography. Ever since day one in Peru, we've been shooting time lapses as a way to create beautiful transitions in our videos, but we never lived in a place where you could see the stars in the night, until now. When we set out to capture the stars using time-lapse photography, we knew we were in for a challenge, but we had no idea just how much the experience would transform the way we see the world and our place in it. <laughs> Shooting an astro time-lapse basically just means taking a bunch of photos with very long exposures and then stringing them together into a video. It's a simple concept, but executing it well is challenging and time-consuming. First, you need to be somewhere where there's very little light pollution, like this cottage we're renting in the mountains in Spain. Next, you have to wait until there's no moon in the sky so that the stars will pop. After that, you'll need a clear night, a sturdy tripod, a camera with a wide angle lens that can shoot long exposures, and a bit of luck. But when everything lines up, all your time will be worth it, I promise. We just made it to the top of the mountain. This is probably our fifth or sixth time hiking up the mountain this month, but we've waited long enough and the moon should be at its um, darkest this evening. So it's from the moon cycles, you know, it goes from huge to disappears and tonight it isn't in the sky. So that means that the stars should be at their brightest and we also looked out because it's a clear sky right now. And so there'll be nothing to block our beautiful view as the night unfolds. And so we've got our blankets, we have some tea, I brought us snacks, and we can now just get cozy and just like wait for the stars to come out. And I'm really excited because it's been a long time coming trying to figure out how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> 